today we have a very exciting topic CBD. Let's do it. In this channel, we discuss traditional and alternative treatments for pain. If you like my content, please make sure you subscribe and turn on notification. CBD stands for cannabidiol. It's the second most prevalent of the active ingredients of cannabis or marijuana. While CBD is an essential component of medical marijuana, it is derived directly from the hemp plant, which is very similar to the marijuana plant. As you can see, there is a uh, big difference between hemp plant and marijuana plant. Hemp plant um, produce CBD oil or hemp oil and very small amount of THC. Hemp oil has no psychoactive properties. However, marijuana plants produce THC oil or marijuana oil or cannabis oil that has a large concentration of THC which has psychoactive properties. Is there any evidence for CBD? To date, there is no evidence of public health related problem associated with the use of pure CBD. Related to difference in receptor binding affinities, CBT has less psychoactive symptoms and abuse potential compared to THC. A large cross-sectional study describes CBD being used mostly for medical purposes such as pain, anxiety, insomnia, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, headache, and nausea. The most common form of CBD products including oils, tinctures, cosmetics, topical cream, gummies, chocolate, powder, and off-the-shelf beverages. The strongest scientific evidence for CBD is to treat some type of complex childhood epilepsy syndrome such as Dravet syndrome or Lennox Gustav syndrome or LGS, which is typically the in response to anti seizure medication. Recently, FDA approved first ever cannabis derived medication for these conditions. CBD is commonly used to address anxiety and for patients who suffer through the misery of insomnia, studies suggest that CBD may help with both falling asleep and staying asleep. A study from European Journal of Pain showed that using an animal model, CBD applied on the skin could help lower pain and inflammation due to arthritis. Another study demonstrated the mechanism by which CBD inhibits anti-inflammatory and neuropathic pain. So CBD could help with arthritis pain. CBD side effects. Side effect of CBD including nausea, fatigue, irritability. CBD can increase the level in your blood of blood thinners like Coumadin, and it can also raise level of other medication in your blood. It is very important if you would like to take CBD, have a consultation with your doctor. Because CBD is classified still as a dietary supplement, there is no FDA regulation for this medication. CBD and pregnancy. Multiple animal and human studies has developed cautions against use of cannabis during pregnancy due to potential cause of hyperactivity and anxiety. CBD is readily available in most parts of the United States. 
though its exact legal status is in flux. All 50 states have law legalizing CBD with varying degrees of restriction. However, federal government still considers CBD the same class of marijuana. My personal opinion is CBD helps with anxiety and depression and can also be used as a topical form for arthritic pain. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and send me your feedbacks. Stay tuned and I will see you soon. Thank you.